Good morning, good morning, good morning. I woke up with a lot on my mind this morning. The fact that y'all love to judge me. And I like, I'm just this bad person when I'm not. When I, I'm when I'm lost, uh, hurting. Just because I'm an adult now, I still hunt for my childhood. I never had a childhood like being a kid. And again, I was raised without a mother or no father. Growing up, I had my grandma who showed me all the love she could show me and gave to me. But again, it's nothing like mother's love. And I hate that I had to get up in age to learn and figure this thing out why my mama didn't love me. I couldn't show me love because she was liking the same thing. She had it from someone that cared and took her in and treated her like a daughter. But again, y'all, it's nothing like uh, your biological mom. It's something, a scent you know that doesn't go away. She knew someone, right? I didn't understand as a kid. Now that I'm experiencing life, I feel like I'm on this journey walking my mother life, connecting the dots, sol solving the problems. And I know I'm making a lot of, or have made a lot of changes in someone else's life. I don't care if it was one or two people, but I know I have by sharing my story, by sharing and talking and venting because I just wish sometimes I just wonder what my life would have been like if I had all that stuff. It was a lot on me growing up. Hell, I even helped my sister and my brother. My grandma didn't care about um, going and getting them nice things, you know, to match the crowd, to be uh, feel like they fit in. The only thing we knew was a roof over our head, clean clothes, food. That's all we was raised up on. Stealing came involved. As I seen nice things and wanted nice things. And I wanted my sister and brother to have nice things. I remember times I would go to the mall. I don't want to say these people names. Because, you know, people know who helped me went to the mall. Still shoe credits. I was by my sister and brother. Like, I was living as an adult. Because I wanted no one to talk about my sister nor my brother. So I used to go like I was taking care of them. So all my life, I have been a giver, helping, taking care. That's all I knew. Giving, 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 helping, taking care of, making sure everything's straight. Knowing how to love, I was like of that. I was like of loving. I knew I loved my kids, but did I show them that? I could have spent more time with them. I could have took trips, but I didn't know that. I didn't even know. No one did that with me. I didn't go nowhere. Only thing I knew I was a spoiled kid that got majority everything I wanted. And what I didn't get, that's when I grew to learn to go get it myself because I knew that my grandmother didn't care for that she didn't care for the brands the name you know I would go out 
and I would see people and I knew I wanted it. And I was a, a little nervous, a little scared. But yeah, I would do that. First, I was the, the, the driver. I always had a car. Like I said, I was a spoiled child back then. I always had a car. I always had a way. I always had a hustle. I always made a way, but I just never knew why my mama couldn't hug me and tell me she loved me. And then y'all always love to judge me. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know what I've been through. Y'all don't know what I've been holding in. Like, I can beat up for everybody, but who's here for me? At the end of the day, I don't get Oh, you're good, my oh, my. You doing perfect. Uh, like, y'all understand. Y'all families have grandmas and aunties and cousins. Like, I wasn't even raised up off of that. Everybody I called my cousins, they was cousins from the street, but not biological. So, yes, I, I was a lost child. And still I'm learning. Still I'm going through stuff. Still I fight stuff. I'm still learning. But I be so tired of y'all thinking that I got it all together. I'm supposed to know everything. I just kept myself up. I knew to look nice. And what I did learn from my grandma Alice, when you have a roof over your head, make sure you pay your bills and help food on the table. That's all I learned in life is know how to survive. I am a survivor. So y'all can miss me with that. I know sometimes my actions can be cruel. Y'all always say I run to the internet, but I really don't have nobody to talk to. People I trusted with the most deeply stuff used it against me, portrayed it me. People I let in my house portrayed it me. Girls that hung around me became friends from knowing me, robbed me. Like y'all don't know my y'all don't know my life. Y'all think y'all do. Cause guess what? I make this I make this shit look good. I do. Okay? So, me raising my kids. I, allegedly, I was pregnant five times. I had one miscarriage. I had a pregnancy in my tubes. So, I had to get rid of that baby because it was an up tense. I remember that. I was young. But like I said, I grew up surviving, not not loving. I didn't come from a family with with love, hugs. And right now today, no one tell me. I mean, I, you have strangers just DM me and stuff and follow me, but no one that I, I my family say, you doing great, you doing good. You doing this. I always have to pat myself on the back and say, you know, I'm doing the best I know how to do. I'm doing the best I can. I, my mom ain't do that. Like I told y'all, my mom ain't even never told me she loved me when she was here. And I wanted to hear it. I had the right to hear it. So... For the family pictures that I do do every year I'm with my kids. That's because if you read the book, I had not one picture with my mama. So, I, of course, I'm going to make memories with my kids. But knowing how to love, I just knew to make sure my kids were straight. I was like of a lot of things. 
and I'm just tired of the media and everybody else judging me off of how I react. I've been defending myself since 94. And the rumor, I'm over it because I knew that was part of the plan. God was protecting me. He was using me. He was protecting me. He knew I was a gullible child. He knew I would be a gullible. He knew I probably would have ended up with something. Because how gullible I was. How open I was. How friendly I was. How I wanted family. Like, he protected those evil spirits against me and the ones who probably was sick. So I appreciate the room because it helped me in so many ways. And I used to ask God, why did he allow such thing like that to happen to me? Like the room was spread it like a domino, a domino effect. But here I am today, 43. I appreciate the rumor. I appreciate it. Because he had to have that. That was that was my battle. He knew that I needed protection. And he gave me that. So he allowed that rumor to spread like everywhere. But I am healthy. I'm STD free. I'm everything. I will be the one that go to the clinic and give my arms really fast. But he knew once I got old enough, I will understand and I'm strong. So, yeah, that Roma doesn't bother me. Well, actually, it has stopped from a long time ago. But, yeah, that was my story. I wanted to let y'all know I know why. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that rumor. Because God was only looking out for me. He was looking out for me. I didn't know no better then. But he was actually looking out for me. And I thank God every day. Thank you, Jesus. But yeah, I just woke up in my feelings. Because I find myself always so defending and always so angry. I am angry. I am angry. I am angry. I have a lot still built up inside of me. A lot y'all still don't know. Like, I never had mother and daughter talk. I always had stuff was just given to me. And you know, once a kid gets stuff they want, they spoil. I look past everything else. I just knew I was a spoil child from my grandma but I learned my mama really didn't even live my mama left here not knowing her truth and I refused to live in a lie I refused that so whether y'all like me, whether y'all say I'm messy, whether y'all say whatever y'all want to say about me behind my back, I know my purpose. I know my purpose. And I know I'm not the only one, but God knew I was going to be the transparent one. Yeah. I need to talk. And I love the vent. I know you. Everything I see on social media, I don't care about y'all using it against me because I told it for a reason. I, I don't got stabbed in the bite so many times. It's okay though. It's life. It just helped me be stronger. That's why I don't trust no one. Fathers, I can see them. I don't trust no one. Yeah, and I will pray about that. God will have to heal me from that. I still... That's why my kids play with me. I had them so young, 14, all bike to bike. Because I'm still searching. I'm still got 
a child youth in me that needs to come out. It's crying to come out. Like, I can't even recall a child. I can't remember nothing I did as a child. You know, you have children memory and sin and stuff. And I know people probably felt like I was so spoiled. I was getting, I was this and that, but no, I needed love. At the end of the day, I needed love. I needed a hug. I needed to hear that word, I love you. And right now today, I have family and I still feel alone. By me even thinking I was doing the right thing with my family turned out to be the wrong thing. Like, I just can't catch a break. I don't know what I did. I don't know why me. But I do know everything is for a purpose. And I'm not going to question my God. I'm not. I used to. Because I felt like everything I did was a fail. Why do I have to always be defending me? I just want peace. I'm going to find myself. I'm still searching. I know I have changed a lot. I have changed a lot. Still working on me. I'm still working on me. But I took it's time to record me because I needed to vent. Some things I need to let out. I need to be heard. And yet, I have not even let everything out. But God knows. I don't know why. I'm on this path. But I know it's for a purpose. And I'm going to keep on doing it and keep on walking it. Whether y'all like me or not. Uh, whether y'all say I'm messy or not. I know I'm not. I have a heart. I'm a giving person. I'm a caring person. I'm a loyal person. But I don't know how to be none of that. Because I have been portrayed it so much in my life. I don't know what to believe. Like I said. On down to the accessory and what I've been through and what I found out and what I'm still going through. I'm just tired. So judge me all you want. Because I know that God has a plan for me. I know this. God have a plan for me. I'm out.